Okay, so in this short video, I'm just going to look at uh, four more examples of the cross product for practice. And here they are. Okay, so uh, here's the first one. We want the first element of this cross product, so we ignore the uh, first elements of the two source vectors. We do the falling diagonal, 3 times 0, that's 0, and we subtract the rising diagonal, 7 times minus 1, that is minus 7. So we're subtracting minus 7, that means we'll get plus 7. So the first element here is going to be a 7. Okay, so now we want the second element. That means we ignore the second element of the two source vectors. We do, however, the rising diagonal first. 7, 2 is 14, minus 1 times 0 is 0. So that's 14. So the second one was the rising diagonal first, if you follow me. And then finally, to get the third component, we ignore the third component of the source vectors, and we do the falling diagonal. 1 times minus 1 is minus 1, minus uh, 3, 2 is 6. So that is minus 7. Okay, so there's our um, solution, 7, 14, minus 7. But is that correct, or have we made a slip? It's uh, a good time to check the old uh, dot product trick. So if we call this a cross b equals c, then we should find that if we do the dot product of one of the input vectors, say b, with c, then it should be 0. Let's check that. 7, 2 is a 14. Minus 1 times 14 is minus 14. 0 times minus 7 is 0. So that's 14 minus 14. It's correct. Let's do the other one. It's harder. So 1 times 7 is 7. Uh, 3 times 14 is 42. So that's 49 in total. And then the uh, final term here, 7, 7s are 49 but that was with a minus number, so we've got, in fact, 14, 49 minus 49 is 0, so another one of those uh, dot products is correctly 0. So what we found out is that a dot c and uh, b dot c are both equal to 0, as they must be, so we're now very confident that we have the right cross product there. Let's do another one. Okay, so we're going to uh, want the first element, so we ignore the first element of the two source vectors, and we do 8 threes are, uh, eight threes are 24, minus uh, 2, 2 times 1 is 2, so that's 22. Let's do the next element. So we ignore the middle ele elements, and we do the rising diagonal, 4 twos are 8, minus 8, that's just going to be 0. And then finally, we ignore the bottom elements, and we do the falling diagonal, uh, minus the rising diagonal, 1 minus 12 is minus 11. So there's our solution, 22, uh, 0, minus 11. We notice we could take uh, 11 out of that as a common factor that would make the next stage very easy, but let's just uh, let's do it the hard way and do uh, the dot product. So 4 times 22 is 88, 1 times 0, 0, and minus 88. Actually, pretty easy to confirm that's 0. Let's do the other one. 1 times 22 is 22, 3 times 0, and again, 2 times uh, minus 11, again 0. So that's fine. That one's passed its checks as well. On to the third one. Okay, so um, this time I think I might take a common factor out just to show us doing that because I see that this 25, 5, 15 chap is going to lead to some pretty big numbers. But maybe I don't need to do that. I can just take the common factor of 5 out of the first vector. Uh, we're calling it vector A. So that's just 5, 1, minus 3. And then I go ahead and write vector B. Uh, which can't be simplified is just 1 3 minus 2 we'll do this cross cross pot excuse me we'll do this cross product and then we'll put the factor of 5 in at the end that's fine to do it that way round okay so let's go ahead and write that out there's our factor of 5 and here's our cross product so uh, the first element of our cross product, we ignore the first elements of the two source vectors. We do the falling diagonal, that gives us a minus 2. We subtract the rising diagonal, that's a minus 9. So that's minus 2 plus 9, that's going to give us a 7. And now the middle element, we ignore the middle elements on the two source vectors. We do the rising diagonal this time, gives us minus 3. We subtract the falling diagonal, that gives us minus uh, 10, which means we're going to have to add on 10. So that's minus 3 plus 10, it's another 7. Okay, and then finally, the third element, we ignore the third elements on the source vector. We do the falling diagonal, that's 5 threes of 15, and we subtract the rising diagonal 1. That's going to give us another uh, a 14. So, in fact, a really simple vector here, because we could take out a factor of 7 if we want to. But uh, let's check those uh, dot products. Um, do it before or after we take out the factor of 7, it's pretty easy. Uh, that's going to be uh, 4 times 7 minus, uh, at, and minus 2 times 14. Yes, that goes to 0. Let's do this one just quickly. Uh, 35 and another 7 is 42, uh, but minus 3 times 14 
is exactly minus 42. So that one is also satisfied. We've passed our checks. That looks pretty good. Uh, we can leave it like this, or if we want, we can take out that factor of 7 and do 35 times 1, 1, 2. Very simple, very nice uh, vector there. Okay, let's come here uh, now, come down to the bottom and look at the final one. We notice it's actually the cross product of a vector with itself. It's the same vector here. So what are we going to get? Well, we can just easily enough work it out. We ignore the first two elements and we do four to, um, uh, 2 times minus 4 and minus 4 times 2. So it's something minus itself. That's just going to give us a 0, obviously. And uh, uh, let's keep going. If we ignore the middle terms and do the rising diagonal minus the falling diagonal, again, 3s and minus 4s, the same product. So something minus itself, 0, and it's going to be the same for the final element. So the cross product of a vector with itself is always going to be uh, the zero vector. Now it's important not to write that just as the scalar zero because it is a different object. It's the vector zero. It's a set of, in three-dimensional space, three zeros. So that's what we get when we cross a uh, vector with itself. Of course this is going to trivially satisfy our condition on the a dot c is equal to zero and b dot c is equal to zero. That's clear. And so uh, I think that's uh, a nice set of four examples done quite quickly there. They're not too bad, are they? So that's the end of the video.